sometimes <clears throat> sometimes in pet keeping there is behavior that can really scare people um right now you see mj and loki are uh, preening and snuggling right now and they're really cute but because loki is an imprint he sees me as a threat to him and his wife like because loki he was raised by humans so he kind of sees himself as a human so he his little pigeon brain is pretty confused unlike fluffernutter down there hi fluffernutter um but those two up there um so because of that whenever i approach the cage when mj is in at this point in her laying cycle loki can get pretty aggressive with driving her so when i take a step close to the cage you guys are probably going to see that and I want to reiterate that this is pretty normal behavior. This is just driving behavior, but pretty extreme. Um, and it's not too crazy. But if I get close, you guys will see it. Hi, you two. And he will hurt her over here or up there. Oh, no, they're vet wrap. I noticed it's dangling earlier. Let me fix this. Um, but basically, male pigeons, how they impress their mates is they kind of herd them into an area and basically show them that, hey, I'm a big bad dude. I can keep you in your nest and I can protect you. Look how tough I am. And Loki's kind of extreme. I mean, right now he's actually being pretty nice to her. But he's only doing this because he sees me as a threat. But because his imprint brain is pretty weird and messed up. Hi, dude. He, um, instead of, like, attacking me. Like, if I stick my hand in here. Instead of attacking me, he attacks her. Like, see, I can even hold him back and he completely ignores me. And goes and he attacks poor MJ. Now... If you're a new pigeon owner, this can look, like, this sort of behavior, um, can look really scary. Um, and this driving behavior isn't uncommon. And the natural driving behavior is basically this, but a lot less extreme. A lot less slapping. And even if I let them out to fly for a bit, which I do, they're just up for the night. Um, uh, he will still chase her if I get near her because in his brain he thinks that she is trying to cheat on him with me and the funny thing is is that he is kind of right because MJ is also a partial imprint so whenever Loki isn't in the room MJ thinks that humans are also potential mates so in a way for him to keep her in line he drives her and their favorite spot for driving is standing on top of their water dish, which is very silly. You telling her about it, Loki? And if you're a new pigeon owner, this can be really scary because you think that your male pigeon is trying to kill your female pigeon. Um, but nope, this is just what, you know, this is how pigeons, you know, this is part of their, like, mating ritual, you know? And in a few days, MJ's probably going to lay an egg because she thinks all this shebang, like, all this, all this messy stuff is very, uh, exciting. Oh. Oh my goodness, my guy. Come on. Oh, and there he goes biting me now. Yeah? And yeah, I just kind of wanted to show that, you know, a lot of people don't really show um, some of the more scary parts of pet owning, especially with birds who I aren't talked a lot about, like pigeons. And I just kind of wanted to show an example about a scary behavior that is pretty normal and natural for these birds. Um, Loki's just an extreme case. Um, him and MJ are pretty happily married. And she's going to lay eggs soon in a couple days, likely. But yep, to a new owner, this can be pretty upsetting. You can see her nodding her head, which is basically telling him she's into him and to not bite her anymore. 
I know Loki. Loki, you're such a big dude. But yep, that's all I wanted to talk about, I suppose. <laughs>